Okay, me and Long ended up doing bubble sorting. Bubble sorting is a method of sorting in which, say you have an array of data, the bubble sort will compare two values. Afterwards, it will decide which one is meant to be um, in front and which one is meant to be at the back. And then if it needs to, it will swap them. It will then look at the next two values. If it needs to swap those, it will swap them. It will continue doing this until it no longer ends up swapping. A um, bit of time to read through. Um, so this is a diagram of uh, how numbers flow through um, when the bubble sort works. So because, because of the way bubble sorting works, um, larger values are sort, sorted first. So as you can see, the nine will get into its right position. Or the 10 actually gets um, into position first, followed by the nine who goes straight from the first position to its position. And um, the last um, values uh, that are sorted are usually the smallest values, so one, two, and three. So um, bubble sorting will work best when the list is already mostly sorted. So if there are only one or two errors within the list, so that means bubble sorting is good for um, finding errors within a, a list that's mostly sorted already. And the worst case is when there are lots of errors throughout or when the list is sorted backwards. So say you want it in ascending order, but it's sorted in de descending order. So um, also when there are more things to compare, so more elements in a list, the, more, the longer it will take to sort. This here, as you can see, is a pseudocode for a um, simple bubble sort. A simple one is the one that we've explained so far, which will compare for all values. Um, an enhanced one is one we'll be talking about later. But in this one, as you can see, we have um, two while loops. The first while loop occurs while swap is um, true. And you start off by putting swap to false. And you would set a comparison, which is refers to the index in the array or the list. And so it will go through the entire array or list based on the amount of items there are. And it will compare this value to the value in front of it. If this one needs to be um, swapped with the current one, then it will swap items, and it will change swap to true. As such, it will then compare for the entire list one time. If, if it swapped something during this one time, then swap would be true, and therefore you, it will compare through the entire list once more. But if it didn't, then the while loop, the first one, would be um, false, and thus it will end. This here is an animation for a simple bubble sort. Stop. Oh, it's quick. So explain what it's doing. Oh. Currently, um, the box shows the box shows which values are currently being compared. If the value on the left is bigger than the value on the right, then the values will be swapped. If not, it will just move on. And it will keep doing this until it no longer ends up swapping anything. That part there, that was wrong. There is always a sorted part of the array. So it doesn't resort 844 and 983 because they're resorted. That will be an enhanced one. We'll be getting that later.
Okay. Now, as you can see, the bubble sort has finished sorting, and you may have noticed that during the portion, um, it actually got sorted pretty quickly, except for the 124. And so this is the primary disadvantage of a simple bubble sort, in that you would have to check everything, even the ones that have already been sorted. So um, an enhanced bubble sort is much faster than a simple one, because it actually um, does not recheck the values that are already sorted, which are always the end values. So it sorts the largest ones first and then goes backwards. So because of this, um, it can um, sort without unnecessarily having to recheck values. So here's the animation for an enhanced bubble sort. So once the 903 gets to the end, as you can see, it will be locked into place and the algorithm won't recheck the values and it will skip straight back to the first one. And since 844 is also sorted, it will do the same. So you have a sorted section and an unsorted section and every iteration, every pass through the algorithm, the sorted section grows by one, the unsorted section shrinks by one. So what will happen to the algorithm? What will happen, sorry, yeah, to the speed of the algorithm as a result of this? It'll be much faster. Right, on average, it'll be about 50% faster. <coughs> Yep, as you can see, the whole array is sorted. And these were the references for the static visualization. Thank you, Tess.